exorcism holds a significant place in Christian theology, rooted deeply in biblical scripture. This practice, often seen as a direct confrontation with demonic forces, is supported by numerous passages throughout the Bible. Perhaps the most compelling of these is the example set by Jesus Christ himself, who cast out demons in several accounts documented in the Gospels. These actions by Jesus not only demonstrate the existence of evil spirits, but also affirm the power of divine authority over them. Different Christian denominations have interpreted and applied these teachings in various ways, shaping a rich and diverse tradition of exorcism within the broader Christian community. Each tradition draws on specific verses and theological understandings, reflecting a shared belief in the presence of spiritual evil and the ongoing battle between these forces and the power of God. Exorcism practices vary widely among Christian denominations, each adhering to its own set of rituals and beliefs. In the Roman Catholic Church, a formal rite of exorcism is performed by a priest who has received specific authorization from a bishop. This rite involves prayers, blessings, and commands, through which the priest invokes the power of God to cast out demons. Other denominations, such as certain Protestant and evangelical communities, might use a more informal approach, focusing on prayer and the authority of scripture to confront demonic influences. Despite these differences, the core component across all practices is the invocation of divine power to restore spiritual health to the afflicted individual. This is done with a deep sense of reverence and responsibility, acknowledging the serious nature of the confrontation with evil forces. Personal testimonies from those who have undergone exorcisms provide a profound insight into the human experience of this spiritual practice. Individuals often describe a palpable sense of evil being confronted and overcome by a greater power, leading to feelings of liberation and renewal. Exorcists, too, share compelling stories about their experiences, describing intense spiritual battles and the profound relief that follows successful interventions. These narratives underscore the belief in the real and present influence of demonic forces on individuals, while also highlighting the power of faith and prayer. The emotional and sometimes physical transformations witnessed during and after exorcisms serve as powerful testimonies to the participants and observers, reinforcing the efficacy and importance of this practice within certain faith communities. Exorcism also faces various controversies and challenges, particularly concerning the ethical implications and potential for harm. High-profile cases where exorcisms have resulted in physical injury or even death have sparked debates about the safety and oversight of these practices. Critics argue that without stringent guidelines and proper understanding, exorcism can be misused or applied to individuals suffering from mental health issues rather than actual demonic possession. In response, some churches have implemented rigorous training programs for exorcists, emphasizing the need for discernment, pastoral care, and collaboration with medical professionals. These measures aim to safeguard against abuses and ensure that exorcism is conducted responsibly, respecting the dignity and well-being of every individual involved. <laughs>